Okay. So I'm I'm trying to find out. Can y'all hear us? We back again. I don't know what happened to the phone the first time. Hello. Can you see it, Mama? So no, no, no. no. Okay, okay. We have sound now. Now we got sound. Okay, we didn't have sound the first time. We got sound now. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Who? No, yeah, use that one. Good morning, everyone. All right, at first you guys couldn't hear us. We were um, we we had uh, I don't know what happened to the phone, but we had girl. Um. All right, so let's start. Let us start. Uh, so as you guys know, um, I just kind of like really recently openly started talking about um that I had uh that me and my mom had got the coronavirus. Um uh I've been down for a few weeks. Uh and you know I've been checking in here and there like you know slightly in and slightly out just checking in. Um I was real hesitant to uh, talk about it at first because, you know, you know how a lot of people just be really, really sitting out there, you know, wishing bad and wishing ill on people or whatever and stuff. But and I just was I, I, I felt I felt like that I didn't really want to come forth and really talk about, um, you know, getting the COVID-19 because all the, st the stupidity and the stigma and stuff like, you know, around it. But I just really felt the need to come and just really talk about it because um, this has been something that has been really, um, like, attacking us. Um, people have so many different misconceptions about the way that the coronavirus is spread. And, you know, me and my mom have been very... Uh, we have been very. Mom, what you looking? We ain't look, you looking at the window. People want to see how you. Me and my mother have been very. Um, we've been very cautious. We've been work. We've been very. It's just like we've been social distancing and all this stuff. And I know we did all the things that we supposed to do, and I do the extra. And get right because of me having rheumatoid arthritis. Right, and we still got it. We still got it, and so. Um, at first, I wasn't going to come forth and, like, really talk about it. I just was going to try to fight it and go through it and, you know, let uh, and let Legra take care of all of the all the business matters and behind the scenes and, you know, notify all of our contractual agreements and all of our business stuff, you know, like notify these things, um, you know, to the people that, that, did, that didn't know. Um, I am fully vaccinated. And I'm not. And Miss Mary is not fully vaccinated. Um, we got the coronavirus uh, from my brother. And um, we know that because when we were notified that we had been exposed to it, my brother called us and told us uh, that, we need that we need to go, go get, get tested, tested because he tested positive, you know, for the coronavirus. And um, when we went to go get tested, we were po it we were positive, and I know that it was my brother because um, all we were all together. together. We were all we were all together. So what happened was, I'm going to give this to you guys, you know, um, day by day. So August fifth, y'all know I've been in Miami. Y'all know I've been I've been I have been flying, traveling. Um, working, doing all this stuff or whatever, and I have not caught the coronavirus. We've been out of the country. We've not been all out of the country. Would have have not caught the coronavirus. Okay. So here's how my schedule was going. You guys know all of June. June I was working in LA, 
I left LA, went to Mexico, was working in Mexico. I left Mexico, came, left Mexico, went to New York City, was working in New York City, left New York City. I was, I was filming a movie in New York City, left New York City, came to Florida, and I was filming a television show in Florida. And I, I stayed in Florida, in Miami, because my mother had to go to the doctor. And so um, after I got through shooting in Fort Lauderdale, um, I came back home. I mean, I came, came I came, house. came to her house. And so when I came to her house, I, um, I was, I was there chilling. She had doctor's appointments that she needed to go to. And so because she had those doctor's appointments that she needed to go to, I had to stay some extra time in, Miami. in Miami. Okay. So she had a doctor's appointment on August the 5th. My brothers, both of my brothers are working men. And so they they work in me and they have families. So I don't it's a diff our, our schedule is kinda like different when it's when it's time for us to spend time together. Yeah, you know, so we don't family really time. have an opportunity to spend time together as Quality a family time. because I'm always working. My brothers are always working and I have my mom with me ninety nine point nine percent of the time. So um, I was tired this particular day and I, I asked my brother, I said, well, well, it was the 5th, August 5th. I'm not going to, I said, which it was Thursday, August 5th. I said, um, Norris, come over here and take, uh, let's go, let's take mama to the doctor together, you know, so that you can communicate with her doctor or whatever. Cause I've, I've, I've been taken to the doctor, you know, whatever. So come over here and, um, and let's take her to the doctor so you can be, you can familiarize yourself with her new doctor. So um, he came over on August 5th, um, and uh, we went to the doctor with my mom. So we came back. My brother went. He had to go to work. Yeah. He stayed with us for a little while. He had to go to work, and then he left. August 8th is the day I came back. I was getting ready to leave, drive back home to Georgia. To Georgia. And so... Boom! My brother comes, and he says he's gonna spend the he's gonna spend the day with us because he know when we get here to Georgia we're gonna be you know just he not gonna see us. So he came. He spent majority of the day on August the eighth. Um, I ordered food. Ordered lunch. I ordered a lunch for us. We ate some Cuban food. Just eating, eating, eating. And then he said he didn't feel good. And then, he, yes, that day he did. He so That he day he said he did. He wasn't feeling good. And yeah. I was like, um, you know, my brother is a regional manager for Burger King. So my brother has, has, has comes in very heavy contact with his employees. All different. All types. different. <laughs> his, his, with, 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 with trucks, with, with in, in inventory and all of that stuff. So my brother is, you know, my brother is the... And then he had been doing working a lot of hours, just like you. You and him both been doing a lot of. Y'all both needed rest. Right, but he he was working, so he came and he and that on that day on that on the eighth, he said he didn't feel good, and so you know we didn't really pay no attention. But we ain't paying no attention. We were just was like you. Yeah. You just was telling him that he needs to get some rest. Like, yeah. um, he working too much. Yeah, he working too much. So on the eighth, I got in the car, me and Miss Mary, and a close friend of ours, and we were driving home. And so when we were driving home, we just was coughing. We had a little cough. We didn't really pay the cough no attention, like no shade. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't pay the cough. Yeah, I paid. I, I paid cough, all cough. Yeah, but we didn't pay it no right, attention yeah, like yeah, that, Mama, because we yeah. was not. Right. And then we just was like, you know, y'all know it's an eight-hour drive from Miami to Atlanta. And so we were driving home. I hadn't seen my mom. I hadn't seen you in a while because it, I yeah, had, you, we had I had put you in Florida. You, I had put my mother in Florida because she had to, I had to go, go to, to her doctor's. doctor's. And then when I got off of work, I was able to take her to the rest of her doctor's appointment. Yeah. And so 
when when um when it was time to go, I drove home because we I, she packed up some more suitcases and more all this stuff I in it. Girl, mama. Then I had all my suitcases from being in travel, and you so had more stuff. I had all my suitcases <laughs> from being in travel, <laughs> so we drove home, and on the ride we were, we we just had a little we had a very <laughs> slight cough. We had a very slight cough. Um, and so this was the eighth. When we got home on the eighth, I I I I got. Mom, you don't have to put no mask on I in the car. I just don't want to be coughing in your face. You don't have though. to put no I mask on in no car. You don't have to face. do that. <laughs> so, on the eighth, we we got home. The ninth. I did my morning show. That's the last time y'all... Oh, no, no, no not the ninth. Because that was Monday. The 10th, I did my morning show. On the on the, uh, ninth, on the 8th, on the 9th, I got up. I paid all the little bills or whatever. You know, Chi-Chi had been. And thank you so much, Chi-Chi, for coming over. You know, keeping the eye on the house. You know, keeping the house on the... You know, keeping all the stuff. Like, making sure the, the house and the grounds was good or whatever. So, thank you for that, Chi-Chi. Thank you, Chi-Chi. You know, Chi-Chi had all my stuff lined up. Like, all my bills. All my things or whatever. And so, I paid all that stuff. You know, I just took a day to handle all my bills and stuff. Because I had been on the road working for this long period of time. On the, on the 9th, that was, was my payday. On the... On the 10th... 10th. I did the morning show, and I was and I and I. If you guys don't remember me watching on the tenth, I was saying to y'all, I was like, "Ooh, girl, y'all, I don't really feel good this morning, but I'm gonna push through." I think it's the Chronicles of Narnia, Narnia girl. I'm um, the Chronicles of Narnia, you know. But that was the tenth, the eleventh, when we really started feeling like, mm, yeah. Not not anything severe. We just we just we but it was like we didn't feel, feel good. good. Like we just yeah. started not to feel good. Like and it that's was when I started coughing. Like we didn't start to feel good. I was like, girl, you know. I'm like, child. So I started doing my little remedies. I ordered. I started buying. I started getting all my oranges and you know the stuff that I do when I don't feel well. You know what I'm saying? When I don't feel well. So it just was like, oh. Um, so that was, that was Wednesday. Thursday was the 12th. Thursday was August 12th. And on Thursday, I, it's, the decline started feeling a little bit more. So I started feeling weak. Yeah, my mama started feeling for more weakish and yeah. it wasn't a heavy fatigue. Yeah. Friday, the 13th. I was getting ready to do the morning show. And on the on the 13th, my brother called and said, Hey, y'all, I think y'all need to go get tested because I just got tested and my test and my uh COVID test came back positive. So I called my daughter who rolled home with her. I said, daughter. You know, we don't feel too good, girl. I think you need to go get tested because, you know, we finna go get tested right now. So Friday, we went to go get tested and the testing facility was closed. And so because the testing facility was closed um, on the 13th, we, 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 were, we were going around trying to find somebody, trying to find a place that, you know, where we normally get tested at or whatever. And like they were all like closed. And so on... Uh, we came back home and I said, Mama, you know, let's just start working. You know, this might be the COVID. But we've been really, but we've been working since this COVID come out. Yeah, but I just said, money. let's really yeah. start, like, really working on More. it. This might yeah. be, this yeah. might, I said, this might be the COVID. Yeah. Saturday, I got up to go uh, get COVID tested because the COVID, our COVID place was open. It was it was closed Friday, but then it was open on Saturday. Yeah, you called. I got up to go get tested, and when I got in the shower, I I I started taking the shower, and I could not smell my bath gel. I couldn't smell the bath gel, so this was Saturday the fourteenth. 
this this is how it started to to progress like this so this was saturday the 14th i could not smell my bath gel no, could I? and my mama said and i, I and we see. didn't notice it until i said mama i don't smell you I, the, I said mama i can't spray. smell my my bath gel yeah and then i went in the room as putting on my clothes to get ready and i sprayed my perfume right in my face and, I and said, you know oh. miss mary wear white diamond you can and, smell white diamond down the street and and I said, oh my God, boo! I can't even. I didn't we, smell she, my. Perfume. She couldn't smell her white diamond, girl. No, I couldn't. I'm on my red door. Or her red door, okay. And then I said, boo, something ain't right. And then I went to you. You got you went to get me something. You said we. I'm gonna get us something to eat on. Mm -hmm. And I went to eat the food, and I didn't have a taste. I said, oh my God, boo! I don't taste my food. Yeah, and I didn't notice that my taste was distorted until I started eating some stuff. And I was like, so this was Saturday. And that's when I started doing This was Saturday, the 14th. Okay. Sunday the 15th, we was, we was like real. I told them I'm starting to feel in my stomach yeah she and started started, getting pains in her stomach and then i said boo i'm i'm then i started throwing up and then she started throwing up very nauseated yeah. uh headaches yeah um you know and we hadn't got our results back yet because we didn't get our results back until that, that too that um and i i'm not i'm not gonna share this because i'm waiting for it to come out but I was working on something very major that required me, um, that required uh, some people to be in, in my presence. Oh, yeah. And I was waiting, you know, trying to figure out, like, am I going to be able to, like, am I still going to be able to go through what needs to be done? Yeah. Because, you know, this is what, what it's, it was, it, it, it's something very major that still, in, that still happened, you know, but we had to do it via Zoom. Yeah. But, you know, we, you know, and we was getting things ready. We were getting we stuff ready because sure. we didn't know for yeah. sure if we were, if, if, if um, this is something very big. I can't wait for it to for people for you guys for me to be able to share it with you guys. But it was something very, very major. And so I was like, well, mama, I don't know. I said I told I was talk I talked to Legra and I said, um, I said, Legra. Oh, Legra, I talked to Legra, I talked to my publicist, I talked to, um, you know, my other representations because I have, I, there's a group of things that go on in my, um, in my team, whatever. And I was like, listen, y'all, I need y'all to be on standby because I have, I, I don't feel well. My brother has tested positive for COVID and, um, we're waiting on our test result, but we feel sick. Yeah. We feel sick. And um, I said, this this big thing that's coming up, I don't want to infect any anybody or whatever. So tell them, just give them a little heads up that we're waiting on our COVID test results, you know, before we, you know, move forward. Really you know, and I don't want, I, I, I had the makeup artist, I, I had makeup artists, the uh, the photographer, you know, all this stuff. I had all this stuff like, like, listen, I know everybody's happy that this is a major thing that's getting ready to happen. And so... You know, y'all just got to stand my, I don't feel good. Yeah. Um, and so. That day is when I got sick. For yes, that, that, that was, was the day. that was Monday. Okay. Tuesday came. I still had, I thought I didn't have any test results, but my doctor had called me and, um, told me that the told me what the test results was or whatever but i didn't get them because my phone like i got this setting on my phone where if you not say to my phone girl you could y'all can find my name and play on my phone all day i'll never see it i'll never know it because my phone just don't ring i just i've been set that up i've had my same phone number for about 20 years but that's a, that's neither here nor there so i didn't so the phone what the, the number wasn't set in the in the phone so i didn't get the, the message so i was emailing them and saying hey you know i'm waiting on the test result and so she emailed me back and she says girl i called you yesterday to tell you say yes you and your mother uh have tested positive for covid that was the 16th that was the 16th that was um august 16th so at this 
point, we was really feeling, we were feeling sick. I didn't feel as sick as my mama. I'm vaccinated. I am fully vaccinated. My oh mother my. is not vaccinated at all. So I didn't start feeling, I didn't feel all the, the things that my mother felt from her COVID-19. I didn't feel a lot of that stuff. Thing really got I didn't feel a lot of that. I just, I, I just was like, I was, I did, I felt very tired. Um, I did, I knew it was the COVID definitely on before I got the test results back on, on like on that Monday. I knew it was the COVID because I took a deep breath and my right lung just was hurting. Let me go through that. My right lung was hurting. Like my, I felt like a sharp pain in my right lung. I was like, oh shit. And then I coughed and it was, I, it just, it just, it was just, it was so, it was totally different. Like it was a, a completely different experience. And I don't had the co a cold and all this stuff, but it was a completely different experience, man. That was just, just different. Uh, I felt very fatigued, very, 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 very fatigued. I could walk to the makeup I mean, I could walk to the mailbox and walk back to the front door, and I felt like I had work. Yeah. All day. Yeah. I I felt like I worked all day. I was like, Mama, we was we was feeling best. So I moved my mama you from told her me to come out of from the her room. bedroom. I said, Mama, come in here in the in the in the in the family room. I'm gonna sleep in here with you with you we gonna you sleep together to i wanted i wanted us to be together so yeah. i needed to know what was going on to watch me you want to watch I, me. I visually watched my mom from the from the time i told her what day was it i told you tuesday yeah tuesday yeah, when we, I, Monday I the 16th the, we our, our, our test I, we had got the but tuesday i know on the 17th so the thing that i had to do on the 18th i had to cancel that yeah I told him, I said, listen, we've been, we have the coronavirus and I'm not going to infect anybody. This would, this would, this would definitely be a scandal. I'm not going to go through any of that. So, I, so we got to cancel this. And, uh, and, and my PR, the team, they handled that. Okay. We were sick boots. I don't know how you took care of me. I, I... We were sick. Like two, like that shit was starting to progress. Like dirt, like the day, like it just start. We just started declining. We were sick. It was the most thing I went through. Even not being vaccinated, was the coughing. The coughing was the the, the scariest. Yeah, but see, Mama, you. Part. But see, even though but I was sick, me, I watched a lot. I was watching you. Yeah, I get it. I watched but, you be. I watched you. I you watched was, you. Oh my God, you was getting on my nerve. Jesus. You yeah, was, she said. I, I understood, and I say forgive me because I know it was that you was you was you. I know you love me, and I know you was scared. I was scared, but I was just I was scared for you more so than me. Well, because you the mom, mama, you know this is what it is. Yeah. And so I watched you. I watched you sleep. My mama couldn't stay up. I watched her not be. I watched you not really be able to stay up. And in the midst of all this stuff, I was reading like I was because I wasn't feeling as bad as her, but I was feeling bad. All I wanted to do was sleep. And I watched her not be able to get up. And then I watched her coughing, go from a go, go from a cough to a, like a muffler. It's a, oh, 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 oh. I watched it. I just watched it. And all of this stuff was happening in the matter of in the matter of like hours and so she was just coughing like so and she couldn't get up and she would cough and then, she, it, then it was stuff was start of stuff started coming up and i say no I, what what really troubled you boo is that you you started seeing me not eating yes but nothing. this was but this was but this was the next day like 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 she was but you was coughing so bad it was, yeah, was the coughing that's been the worst like she was thing coughing coughing so through. bad and then it was just like Ugh! and then it started because it went from a cough to vomit and to, to to it was coughing to vomit and so it just was this and so i wasn't having all of this i was not having any of this i was more so having i was tired and i my body was my body was, you know, aching 
um, I was headaches. stuffy. I had a little headache, you know, yeah, like like yeah. a cold. It was like a real, like my stuff was like a bad cold. Her stuff was was bad to me. To you, but I kept mm -mm. trying to tell you. Mama, it was nothing that you could tell me. I know, but I can tell I can only tell you what I was going through and what I was feeling. And you what it was like, no, mama, you this, No, because I was watching you. Yeah, I watched but you. I can only and, tell and, and I know you. I know that my that mommy is she gets very uh what's the word I wanna use? She gets her anxiety. So here's what I wanna tell y'all. Anxiety will kick in because it is a very scary thing. It's very scary. This is this disease is very scary. This disease takes one step at a time of hitting you. The virus. And um, it really hits you more in the middle of the night. Of the night. And um, during part of the day, there was part of a, the day where it was hit me the hardest. In the middle of the night, the coughing would get more progressive. Mm -hmm. And um, Boo would be over me like... I couldn't even move if I sit up and I, I and I was so I would lay over there and cry because I was watching my child battle this too and watching how my child keep jumping up every few minutes watching me till I got aggravated with it because Boo was scaring me because I was more it wasn't so much about me it was more about watching my child go through that too because as this was saying it was watching me I was watching this one. And I would lay over there and I would pray and I'd say, Lord, ain't no more I can do. I've done everything I know to do to keep from getting it. Can you protect my children? That's the only thing that was on my mind was my children, Norris and, and Boo. Because I was here to see Boo, but I couldn't see Norris. And I would lay there and I would cry and I would just talk to God and just tell him, we in your hands, ain't no more we can do. But this one was getting so scared and then I told Boo, I'm, I'm getting weaker. And then Boo was, kept trying to force me to eat. Mama, you got to keep your nourishment in. You got to get something in you. And I didn't want nothing. But I, the sacrifice this child has made for me. I don't care what none of y'all say out there. Whatever y'all think about my child, I know my child. And this child was battering that stuff. And I watched how weak Boo would get up in the middle of the night, one, two, three four it was like it was like almost every hour because there was at one point i got scared i never got the shortage of breath but i i do have i started getting nervous when the coughing would would take over and i couldn't talk to boo and i would try to talk to boo and i couldn't even tell boo what i wanted to tell and i seen boo get scared and i would try to hold it in so boo wouldn't worry about me so much and then i seen this child every time i woke up this child was on the on the phone, looking, reading up stuff. I'm, I'm hearing something about the COVID. And then this child kept on seeing yeah. something about Yeah, so her. what I did was, like, uh, this was, I'm, I'm giving the dates, mama, because I'm okay. trying to time yeah. the people. So what I did was on the, uh, on the, I'm sorry. it's okay, Wednesday the 18th, we was battling. Thursday the 19th, I called my doctor on the telephone, and I said, I, I called my doctor, and I said, because me and my daughter have a really great relationship with each other. I said, Miss Mamas, I don't know what's going on over here, girl. I think I, I've been, t I tested positive for COVID and this is, this is, this is vicious. And I just, girl, what can we do? And so she started, um, she, she said, where is your mother? Because everybody knows the relationship me and Miss Mary got. And so she said, where's your mother? I said, my mama here, me and her both got it or whatever. So she said, I need to see her. I need to see you both. And um, so she did it. She set up an immediate telemed visit with us. That, 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 yeah. yeah, which which uh, Friday was the thirteenth. So six days later was Thursday. So she set an immediate telemed visit up with us. And then when she set the telemed visit, she said, "Get me your mama insurance or whatever." So I got her the insurance and, and whatever. We still we she did a telemed. And so she said, um, um, you know, uh, what's going on? Uh, she started talking. I told her that I had been online and I Googled and there's this and there's this treatment that you can do for people who have COVID in the first 10 days. Seven to 10 days. Seven to 10 days. If they, like the, the first signs of the symptoms in seven to 10 days. And I said, well, what is this? Can we get this? And so she said, yes. 
you guys are in the period where you can get this treatment um the, the mononuclear the mono i'm gonna look at on my phone here i'll put it in the link at the bottom i'm also gonna load this video on my youtube channel so and if you're watching this on youtube we did this live on facebook um she said um yes there is a thing it is the mono mononuclear antibodies mononuclear antibody treatment that um that uh Hold on. And I was so scared. Monoclonal. I'm sorry. It's the monoclonal antibodies treatment. And um, so she said, I need for you guys. And it's for people who have underlying issues. Like I have hypertension. I have high blood pressure. And I'm fat. Okay. And so Miss Mary has rheumatoid arthritis and she got high blood pressure and stuff. So that's we, all. Ain't nothing else wrong. Yeah. So we all. So we were able to to be um you know eligible and plus be fat, mom. Yes, but I've been, I've been and so, I, I have and plus, been getting fat since being on this medication yes, for this stuff. But we that right now. Yes. And, and so and so um we we uh. Uh, we were eligible to get it so she put it she, she but you had to get a referral you have to get a referral from your doctor and so in the midst of us having to get the referral from the doctor i had been reading i'm mean, in the midst of us got getting the referral the doctor said she she, she wished us luck or whatever and after she wished us luck you know uh uh she just told me to take care of my mama so i was i, I was like girl that's a given so that was thursday Friday came because she told me somebody was supposed to call us. And I was like, ain't nobody. I said, Mama, ain't nobody called us. I just was watching you nonstop. Nonstop. I was, I was trying dog. to, I was, was on, stuck. I was trying to, girl. So nobody called our phone. And I'm like, listen, I've read what this can do. I've read what it, what, what, how it works. I've read this stuff. And I'm like, why is nobody telling people who are recently diagnosed with COVID that in the first seven days or the first seven to 10 days of this situation that there is a, a treatment that might prevent them from having to go into the hospital? Like, why is there, what in the, what, what, what's the reason? What is the tea? Like, why this is not going on? And so I started getting on the telephone on friday like mm -hmm. hey ain't nobody call us back Ooh, like no, like what's going on or whatever i called them hoes on um i i called them hoes on monday at seven o'clock in the morning you was on that phone from early. i was on the phone from seven o'clock in the morning to fixing miss mary yeah. tees yeah oh, more uh, boo one two in the morning all, boo, all, all night three, all i, I night took all long. night long you know because uh -huh. my mother was not finna sit up in my house and she was not gonna die they was not going to just tell her, okay, well, y'all just take Tylenol. Girl, y'all, there's something out here that can help people. So why in the F-U-K are y'all not giving this stuff to the people? Or letting people know. And letting about. people go home and die. Yeah. Why are y'all doing that? Because in the meantime, of us going through that, we done lost a lot of. Yeah, I'm, I, I got to tell y'all. Girl, this is a story, so y'all might as well just sit here. So, in the middle of me uh, 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 fighting, looking, going through this thing, girl, I found a place here in Atlanta, across the street from Emory, and um, I called. I said, "Hey, hey, yeah, um, I have a referral from my doctor, whoop de whoop, and um." I need my mother and I to get this infusion because, you know, we're sick over here with the COVID and we, it's been, it, I think we're in the window and, um, I don't know who this girl is. Maybe she knew my voice over the phone or whatever, but if you did, if you are that girl, thank you so much because she said, you know, you have to see a doctor. We just can't let our people come over, people come over here. We have to see our doctor in order for her to refer you to get this. And I said, well, ma'am, I need to see your doctor. She said, well, all of our doctors are booked up or whatever, and we need, um, um, but she said, I'm gonna see what I can do for you today. 
That lady called me extensively back. She was calling me back in between. I was calling. She was calling me back. I was calling my doctor back. I was telemedicine with my doctor. Like, I'm not telling me, uh, 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 doing the chart thing, communicate yeah. with my doctor. Like, I was on Monday was the day. I like Monday was I was going hard. Like, this ain't finna go down like yeah, this. You didn't, you didn't take a no. I was, I didn't take no, take no, 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 no nobody us. telling me no. Ain't nobody gonna be yeah. at Monday. I was going hard on. We something to happen. Yeah. And so my doctor called me back. She finally gave me the number to the to the place that I was supposed to get on that Friday. But mind you, the window, the window to us being able to get the treatment was getting this small. And so finally I called over there and the people the lady said, Oh yeah, we got y'all on the list, but um you just missed the mark Sunday. I'm like, ma'am, what do you mean I missed the mark on Sunday? Like, girl, I've been calling y'all phone. What are you talking? I said, Okay, girl, all right. I found that other place. That girl called me back. She says, Miss Hinton, let me put you on the um, let me put you through. I gotta, I gotta, my doctor will see you today at 2 30. I said, Mama, I don't care how much you fight me yeah. and how much you want to fight me on this stuff. Yeah. But I need your insurance card. I need your social security number, even though I know it, but I still gotta play. You still gotta play with your mama like you don't know their social security know, number. Fool. I know you know. Almost everything, each one of y'all got to play like you, you. The two oldest ones, because you sit around there, yeah. you sit around there, and you act like you know your mama's social security number, girl. I will it's, wear your behind out if you anyway. Know I don't play. So I had to act like I didn't know her social security number, child. I know you know, and then girl, I needed that, and I got her, got that, and I got her, her insurance card or whatever. So the doctor, the doctor saw us. And she, when she saw us, she heard my mama just whoop. I mean, the cough was so vicious, like, uh, uh, and she was like, "Okay, we gotta get, we're gonna get y'all the, the, we're gonna get y'all the infusion or whatever." I didn't think they was gonna allow me because I didn't live here in Florida, cause in Georgia, in Georgia, cause I don't live here. I said. I really told her, thank her. I thanked her so much. Yeah, but I, I can't remember your doctor's name. Uh, Dr. Dredler. Dr. Dredler, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really told both of my doctors, both of my doctors are thank you. But, I don't know them, they named yeah, them. But I told her thank you so much, and she said, ma'am, I can get you in to get the infusion tomorrow, which was Tuesday. And I was terrified. I, I, it was a, it, was it's so a weak. fight and a windmill with my mama because I have she she, she has allergic she has not, mama we're not gonna say allergical now I'm not doing this now <laughs> she has allergic reactions and stuff like that or whatever and, <laughs> and stuff so she was really concerned I'm like mama <laughs> damn all of that shit you is over here I can't help you I can't help you What's what's going? I don't know how. I'm not a doctor, and I'm not gonna let you die. In the oh, shit, we gotta get tested now. Hold on, y'all. Get a test. Hey, good morning. Hey, good how morning. How you doing? I am wonderful. I'm just gonna get y'all pulse and blood pressure, okay? Okay. I mean, not blood pressure. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Something. Okay. What's what's what? Ninety eight six. Ninety eight point six. Okay. Well, I'm, you could use my thumb yeah. because my nails are. Is it okay? <coughs> is it yeah? Is it? It's reading. Mm -hmm. So y'all not have any? You having any symptoms? COVID symptoms? We done already. We done already. We came and tested positive here. Really? I yeah. Know, I wouldn't hear that. You thing. wasn't oh, here. No. Yeah. So what about now? Y'all ain't having no kind of symptoms now? Uh, we had got a, the, the antibodies infusion. Okay. So, so we just trying to see what it's giving now. I'm gonna jump over here and get your mama. Okay. And I'll come back. All right. Hold on, y'all, cause she gotta get. We getting a. We doing. How you doing, my love? We back here getting oh, COVID tested. Sweetheart, how are you? I'm taking it one day at a That's time, but I thank God. Be. All I can do is praise God, and I'm doing as well as I am because since I got this, we done lost friends and family members during the time of oh, a meet. Yeah, they already gone. 
I just thank God for my for my baby. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because if it wasn't for this one, I don't think I would still be here. I don't know. Oh, that's so sweet. Because this one been taking care of me day and night. This been my nurse, my everything. Well, I'm glad y'all doing better. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm still scared about the vaccination. I'm Mama sick. Well, still. I got vaccinated, but it, it, I mean... Well, I watch this one get sick. That's why. Yeah, I, it, it, but the vaccination is not is it's not going to keep you from getting sick. It just keeps it from yeah. from progressing. I know. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of people ain't they scared of it. But yeah. Well, listen, we black. We supposed to exactly. be scared of it. But I I, I did because my husband, my kids, I'm the only one in my house that got it. They got vaccinated. They said no. I said, well, I, I did it, so. Yeah, my children are still saying no. Yeah. I'm still in question, but I can't go through but that But you again. see what we just went through, Mama? Never I again. Can't, yes, I can't I go know. through that again. Mama, sit still. I'm sorry. She fine, she fine. It reading. It just take a little longer sometimes, it's all right. And I think that will open up a lot of people's eyes, the one that they tested positive, they, um... They talking about going to get vaccinated. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Well, because she got the, because I have we got the. I the ride. It's real bad. But, well, because she has the infusion now, yeah. we, she can't get vaccinated for 90 days. Okay, well, don't worry. I mean, just stay safe. I've been doing, I did, ma'am, I do, I go even, I fuss at them. <laughs> because I got rheumatoid arthritis and I don't play, I don't care who you is. And you I can get mad, way. don't run up on me trying to hug me. Oh, don't come up stuff. all trying Put to touch all on. on me. I'm sorry, no, mama. Because I, I, I don't play about that. But my son, they came to take me, I had to go get, I've been out of town for a while and I had to go get. Some, you know how you got to go to your point. If, if you stay still, mama, a little okay. bit. <laughs> I'm going to shut up. I know, was, I know you couldn't get no reading because she, she was moving. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm shaking in the inside. So. Sometimes it's just fine. Nothing. You want to try that? Try. It okay, it's working. Dear it, God. It's, it's, <laughs> dear God. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right, honey. I didn't know her. I'm sorry because I don't want to make nobody sick. You all right, baby. And I don't know how people, I don't care if you done got vaccinated, they still should wear their mask. Oh, I wear oh, yeah. mine. Oh, yeah. I wear mine down. If yeah. I get vaccinated, I'm I'm going to be yeah. wearing a mask yeah. just like, I don't care who <laughs> said they mandatory or you whatever. And I'm going to tell you, don't come around me. What the church saying, don't wear the mask because God got it. Well, I, God ain't God. God give you common sense too. Exactly. But li listen, they may be saying that about me, but that, that vaccination, I am terrified because I already got through those mm, 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 different mm. reactions it ain't red yet girl mama sit still she, she, it, it's, it's this thing it's uh, okay See, it, what was but she had, she had to sit still. It was, it was you see how you came I'm, up here you, and got mad. I don't know if you can see that I'm shaking. Can I you do, see it? You shaking? And that's what I noticed. I'm I'm that in the inside of my body is doing the same thing. It's just, it's still this though. It wasn't. She finally got it. So you gonna you testing us? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yes. She finna test me now. This is the part I don't like. I mean, just breathe, I, mama. Listen. Just breathe. That's all. Now you know I don't go all the way up there anyway. Well, I hope you don't pull out a booger, man. Oh, dear God. <laughs> you used to it, honey? Ain't that? Listen, I'm going. Mama, sit still. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh -huh. mm. Okay, bye. Okay. I'm still going through my little battle, but let I'm me roll still, this window up. I'm still going to be Mary Mac because okay. I still joking. I okay. still. Clown. Here we go, girl. Let me get oh. mine. I'm still me.
<laughs> oh my God. How many tests you have to get so they say you good for after the test? Well, it, I don't know because this little guy, little boy we just had in here, y'all. He done quarantined his little, what, 14 days or however. He's still testing positive. Mm -hmm. It, it can yeah, happen. They the doctor, how long can you test positive? Well, the doctor, the doctor told me. Yeah, they my did doctor tell, told me that. Yeah. That it, you could test. You could still test yeah. positive even after. And my son. Well, after 10 days, it's, it's not supposed to be contagious. And he's still running fever and everything. Oh. But see, that's why. This is what I'm saying. Even that yeah. vaccination, everybody body is different. Yeah. Everybody well, can't take. Young boy. Yeah, yeah. And my son, my son. He's 12. Oh, well, yeah. my, he can't get vaccinated, can he? No, he can't. Well, no. my son, my son just tested um, negative. Mm -hmm. negative. Yeah, my he brother went negative. Back the one that gave it to us, yeah. he negative. And now. he had to go back about three times, and he just tested both times negative. Mm -hmm. So now he's going back to work. Well, he good, then, Yeah. All he right, baby. Thank you. Okay. So, anyway, back to that. So, we, so, we're here now. So, after she got the treatment on Tuesday, after she got the, let me, what is it? What did I just look? I, I'll be... I got the treatment on the 23rd yeah, Daddy's after, birthday. Yeah, on the after she got the treatment, um the monoclonal antibody therapy. After she got the monoclonal air antibody therapy treatment on Tuesday, on the Tuesday after that, um after we got it, um she came home we um and the very first thing I noticed when she got home was that she slept She slept, and when she slept, that 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 vicious cough was instead of being on ten, it might have been on a seven. It might have been on a seven, cause I was up all night long, all through the night, all night, all night. Yes, you was. All night, just yes, up all night. I don't night. know how you did it. I don't know how you did it. All night, just up. And so I wasn't this the Tuesday. Wednesday came. And now listen, we were taking the elderberry. Mom, we took everything. With we took elderberry D. Well, elderberry cod liver oil we D3. Made ton we made tonics. Tonic. Um, yeah. well, I was doing a lot of them. You made, you got, made you made the one first, on first one. well, first one, and then that was it. Like, yeah, you didn't have, oh, and I just had this insatiable craving for onions. Onions. Like, I just wanted to eat yeah. onions. I just yeah. wanted to eat onions. So I would cut an onion up. I would eat, onion, eat an onion, but I still was feeling, I felt bad, but I didn't feel, I wasn't like her. Boy, you was still sick. I'm telling you, when we came home from getting the treatment, I, I noticed. I, just, I noticed. I, just, a, I noticed yeah. an immediate change in her cough because she was. She slept. I just let her sleep and let her sleep and let her sleep and let her sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. Then in the middle of the night. Like, cause she slept all the way. And you was like, boo, I done slept all day. Like yeah, it was. Yeah, you told me. I think you told me, mama, it's 12 o'clock. I said, mama, it's midnight. And yeah. I said, do you want something to eat? Do you know I can make you something if you hungry? Then she started coughing. But the cough wasn't like a yeah. muffler. And you made me a, a thread. Of I made a, I don't know. What, what is it? <laughs> you finna be a mess already. <laughs> you ain't never A thread of flu, mama. Me. I made her a Theraflu, and I squeezed lemon, honey. honey, a lime, an orange, and I I I, I left the and I left the skin. You put them big I, I cut ginger. ginger up like a big chunks of ginger, and I cut turmeric up in it. And like I would make my tea too, but I was more concerned about her. And so, um, she would drink that. And she she drank it, and she still wasn't. She still. Sometimes I throw them up. She threw up. She threw up the tea. She threw up some of this stuff. But then I did notice too that after we left the the, the infusion, 
She forced herself to eat as she kept it down. Yeah. She forces and it, and it kept down because the week before it was vomiting, 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 vomiting. And we was and we was taking a doo doo. Oh, bowel movement. Baby, we was bowels. like, I was like, girl, what is going on? Bowels was, bowels was getting loose, but I was eating cherries. And another thing, with you having RA, I have to take a. My mother a, takes an embryo shot an embryo every shot week. Shot every once a week. And my doctor told me when they, when I remember when we was filming, and they get, I had got a false positive. Yeah, because I did see somebody in the comments asking. Um, is this her said? No, this is her first time get having COVID because when we were on the yeah. TV show, we got she got a false positive. It was positive. two. It was two false and positives, had, and it stopped everything. And it shut our production down. down. Yeah. So it was uh, it was two false positive, but she was never she never had the she never had the COVID. And I asked them, could they let me go get tested somewhere else without that rapid test? Don't trust those rapid tests. Yeah, but this time. We knew this was the COVID. Yeah. This had a whole. This had a. This had a. This had a whole feeling. This had a whole. Yeah. This had a whole different. I'm gonna tell y'all something. I know y'all don't believe in nothing, but whatever. This COVID is a spirit. Yes, it is. What the Bible talks about: the enemy come to steal, kill, and destroy. This is like an enemy. It comes in. It sneaks in. And it works on you slowly. It's a spirit because, and this spirit gets on you in the middle of the night. Yes. Middle of the night, six, four, five, six in the morning. Yeah. It's trying to get you to succumb. Like I see you when you when and, and it tries to get you not to wake up. It's a spirit. Yeah, because you kept waking me up when I when I do finally go to sleep you was just it was getting to be that i was crying sometime that boo was so much on me that it was it was aggravating me but i know it wasn't an aggravation or or just aggravate me it was love aggravation which i appreciate that and i thank god for my children i especially thank god for this one right here for the persistent or not giving up on give me getting that uh treatment but the, the part is that's so sad is that I was sitting there listening to the people talk as it was two, three, two more people in there getting the treatment and they both had been vaccinated mm -hmm. and they was very older than me. People getting the treatment and they were sitting there talking about it. And as they was going through the treatment, they were finding out that some of their friends just tested positive for the COVID. And everybody don't know about that there's something to help the people. Yes, and what was so what was making me so angry was the way was the way that if I wouldn't have been researching that if I wouldn't have been researching that looking for that digging deep into that treatment I don't know mama you'd have been in the hospital right now. I don't know, boo. I really don't know. I know I never give all praise to no medicine because everything God is in everything but the medicine. But I also know that there's a there's a God too because when I when I sit and you didn't tell me people was dying. Yeah. The, so I, was, I gotta tell y'all. From the time that we've been sick, my cousin Keisha Smith has died. Her mama has died. My cousin Jaquita Warren has died. Like, have have died. Yvette Woodard died. Like, all these people have been dying while we've been over here battling the COVID. And these it's are a battle. And these are people that I know I'm related to, you know. These are people that I know. And you wouldn't tell me, but I, I wouldn't saw tell something my mama. in your face. But there was one conversation I heard you and you said, oh, no. Yes. But I wouldn't let you know I heard you. I wouldn't let you know. And I and I just prayed. And I just, all I could do was pray. There's no more you can do. And leave the rest in God's hand. Because there's no more you can do after this. No more. And if whoever out there don't believe in God, I'm sorry for you. Because there is a God. 
there is a God and that medicine did help me. This is the Tuesday would be a week from me having that medicine. I'm still weak. I'm still feeling a little fatigued, but not as much. I can see the difference in the coughing. I still have the cough. The coughing still gets me in the middle of the night, but it's not bad as it was when it first began. And I thank God for everything. Most of all, I thank God for my baby. I thank God for my child. And I hope you don't mind me finna say this. Go ahead, mama. You parents that have children that are L, B, G, I don't know all these letters, but that are gay, trans, whatever. Don't you ever throw your child away because of whatever they, they sexual preferences or whatever, that's not our, we, all we can do is raise our children. You can't control nobody's mind what they want to do. Don't throw your children away. Because right now, my child is gay. My child is trans or whatever y'all call it. But this child right here has been the one that helped save my life that's been there for me. And sometimes you throwing your children away. And you don't know what you might be throwing away. That is not our job to change or, or, or to do those things or push our children away. Love your child. Because right now this child has gave me so much love. Don't be ashamed of what your friends, your, your family think or don't accept your child. That's your job as a parent. As a parent to love your child regardless of whatever your child decision in their life. We can't make decisions. We can only raise them and bring them so far. But don't throw your children away. Because right now with me facing going through this COVID, my child didn't throw me away. The one that was there for me has been my trans child. And I'm telling you, I don't care what y'all say out there in this world. I'm going to love mine. Because mine been there for me. Everything I done been through my life, this child has went over and beyond to do things to make things happen for me that I'm still right here today to praise God for giving me another chance well, for giving both of us another chance and my son because we don't know what life holds but don't throw your children away you lead at the God and in God hand you just love your child that's why so many children are killing themselves that's why so many children are having problems because they need that love to know that their family, regardless of what all people say in the world, you just let your child know you love them. Just because you love them don't mean you condoning what they're doing or what they chose in their life. That's between them and God. And God told us to just love. Share the word. Share with God. Share with the people. Let God do the work. You just love your child. And it's a shame how many of y'all turning y'all backs on your children. And they having so many to deal with in life. Enough as they going through making the decision. Because in the beginning of my child transition. I, I the, the thing that hurts me the most. Is not being there. Not knowing my child was going through all these battles. Because my child didn't share it with me. Because my child felt that. I don't know that I wasn't going to be there for you or what. I don't know. But that hurted me more. Knowing that my child walked through all that pain alone. But now I thank God that I, I wasn't there in the beginning of it. The way I should have been to me as a parent. But I'm here now. And until the day I die. And the prayers we sent up for our children. They never die. You never give up on your child. I don't care if they battle with being trans or gay. It's, oh, it's more than all that in life. Some of them out there fornicating. They do having babies out of wedlock. Doing all kind of things, messing with married men. Lead them, let that be between them and God. You just never stop praying. And baby, I want to know, I tell you before these people, I love you. But well, mama, you know I love you too. I love you to the core of my heart. And I don't you ever think that I won't be there for you because I will be there to the day I die. I know that. And even when I'm gone, you know this, my prayers are still covering y'all. Just like men of their parents' prayers. And you, you... To the children that are gay. Don't. If your parents turn their back on. You try to keep reaching to them. Let them know you can't put your demands on them. Because we got to go to a time. We got to go through some battles or something. Because I finally realized. That it's like a death to a parent. When they facing things too. 
We go through things too. We go through, but I'll never throw my child away. I don't care if my child is the baddest child in the world. I'm not throwing mine away. So parents, stop throwing your children away. Stop turning your back on, on your children because this trans child right here has been what been taking care of me to get me to this point, battling this COVID. And been there night and day, morning and night, taking care of me, watching over me. When I'm laying over there, my child was sick too going through this. And I'm not concerned about me. I was more concerned about my child and me, both of my children. And I'm not telling nobody not to get no vaccine because I understand I'm scared. But I am thinking about getting it now because I can't go through this again. Well, the vaccine, the vaccine, will, the vaccine will, will not stop you from getting the COVID nineteen. I know, boo, and, it, and and no matter how yeah. safe you try to be, be, it won't stop you from get. It will you, not stop you from getting the COVID nineteen. But and you hard headed people that want to do what you want to do, mask think wear. about somebody yeah. else's life. If you don't want to wear that mask for yourself, wear it for your family. Yeah, and so this is what I want to say. If you guys have got the COVID nineteen in the in the seven to ten day window, I am gonna put the link to this um, antibodies treatment that helped us. I am gonna put the link in the com in the in the description or, or on this video on YouTube or on I'm gonna put it on while we on Facebook now. I'm gonna put this link down there and what will you guys gotta talk to your prime and see what what was so. What made me so angry that I'm going to close out? What made me so angry was the fact of the matter that this treatment has been out here. And this could possibly prevent people from going into the hospital. And maybe prevent, and so prevent people, people from, from dying. dying. And I just, I was so, I was so angry. That's the part that angered me. I was so angry because I'm like, I jumped through hoops and hula hoops. You went through a lot. On the phone all day long. I was on there all day. I remember when I fell asleep, I woke up. You was on. You was walking around cussing and fussing and yelling. And I go back to sleep. You still was on the phone. Yes, because I wanted to know why are these? Why is this? Why? What is this? Like this? This? What is this? Like why do y'all? Why are y'all not? giving this stuff this stuff can be administered in the, it should be administered in the urgent care it should be administered in the urgent care but after we went through the treatment and listening to you and you sharing all these things then you came and say mama look at this since you done went through this treatment and this stuff done got out now your your auntie call you yeah my aunt called me because my cousin keisha died my aunt Sheila called me and she was like, uh, they giving this stuff up with this. She said, uh, she said, um, I heard that you done got the, the coronavirus. And um, cause I was real private about it. I didn't want to come, I didn't want to talk about it at first. Because I know behoves me out there wishing ill on people and, and wishing bad on people or whatever. But you know, I said, you know what? I'm gonna come for it. I'm gonna talk about it. I ain't gonna be secret about it. And I'm gonna tell. I'm going to tell, you know, what happened. I'm going to tell about this treatment that we got because this definitely is going to help somebody. Yeah, and then you said, Mom, I think we should talk about it. I said, I think we should when you told me how many people done died and just just hearing the people that died, I couldn't do nothing but cry because one of those people could have been me too. Yeah, yes, yes. I know it was I don't God. Know, I don't know. I don't know if this would have progressed more on me. I yeah, don't know. it would have, Mom, because I was watching it do yeah. it. I will honestly say, yes, I am vaccinated, fully vaccinated. And yes, I still did get the COVID-19. However, my I was not, and my mother is not vaccinated. And I was not in the space that, I was not in the space that she was in. And it didn't progress as vicious on me as it did on her. I, I saw this with my eyes. I experienced this. I'm not telling y'all to get the vaccine because if you don't want to get the vaccine, that's that's a personal it's, choice. It's a personal that's decision. on you. That is on you. We did all the home remedies known to man. Y'all know I got a. Y'all know. Uh, y'all know I got a couple got, dollars. We got so y'all know I got the expensive artillery yes, over there. This one. This one. We got so much vitamin to our. 
this child will load <coughs> me up with so many. I already take vitamins every day since being diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. And then when we went through that COVID scare, when we was filming, I even started doing more vitamins. Right. We, we, and uh, that might have what helped me too with being on all those vitamins. Even so. And so we um we we wiped down with this. I I bought a clear man, I got so much listen, my house is a whole armor over this there. It looked like a it looked like a, a pharmacy. Yes. Right now. You know, honey, I got antibiotics and everything. Even though they don't do nothing for for this type of stuff, I got everything over there. This is a battle, y'all. Listen to the people. Listen to what they tell you what to do. This is a battle, but we did all of those things and still ended up got I went to Mexico listen and wasn't vaccinated and I came back home. You know, you have to sometimes we look we, we, we fail to look at the little small things in life. We always looking at the bigger. But it's the little small things that we overlook sometimes. You know, sometimes you, you see how this virus jumps. Now, I, what I am thankful is that we both ended up having it to have it together. That I wasn't alone because I usually, when I am home, when I go to Florida, I stay alone. And I'm I'm so thankful in the little small thing that my baby was there for me. Was there for me at this time with battling this because I might have I don't know I might have not would have made yeah, it. And then I'm both and, both of us. And Both we of us went through had it, it at the same time. And then I done seen how this COVID, this stuff jump. It could be two people in the same household. One will have it and one won't. One may not get it to, but it's it's it just see what one can be able to take care of. Now I I went through as Boo saying to Boo was the worst part, but to me I was getting scared that Boo was getting worse. Mm -mm. No, but mama, Boo I was, saw but you, I, I, I was watched more, how uh, God gave Boo the strength. To take care of me night and day. You just, but we take God for granted. We take things for granted. And we take life for granted. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to load this up on my um, on my uh, story. I want to thank all the people that reached out to me. Say. I'd like to thank everybody that reached out to me. Even though I didn't post or whatever. I was, I was silently over here battling those things. But I'd like to thank everybody. that re Larry Reed reached out to me. Um... MJ, 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 MJ um, uh, Tamar, Tamar. Oh my God, Tamar Braxton was was definitely Tamar, was, was all um, over it. Um, it all my friends, Jason Lee reached yeah. out to me. Like everybody, all my all my friends, all of my all of my people. And the Maddie Mom. Dorian, yeah, the, Dorian, Dorian Isaac. So many, of them. so many. It's like so many. The name uh, Paris. Um, uh, my makeup artist Steven. It, it was so it my just, it messy was, boot. It That's was just so it was an influx. It was just an influx of so many different people because I was privately, you know, really battling that, really, really battling it, and I just was like, I just, I, I was, I didn't want to come forward, but I did. I don't know. I can't do nothing but cry with a grateful heart because my baby. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> My baby went over and beyond to do for me. <laughs> Even in the midst of my child being sick. My child took care of me. My child nursed me. When I tell y'all my child nursed me, my child nursed me. I could never pay my child back for that. But mama, you did the same thing for me. <laughs> oh, yes. So, you just would have did the same thing for me. And I was so worried about nerds because I couldn't. You couldn't see. You couldn't listen. see. Couldn't and, and, and here's the thing, too. What made me so angry you know, you send people home. You you give them you give them this, 
the, yeah. the, the diagnosis and then you send them home and, and tell them to take two Tylenols. And, and when you told me some of them, they were sent home and they died. Yes, people have died at home or the, it progressed so bad they done been to the hospital. And this is what was making me so angry. I'm like, why are y'all not giving these antibodies to people? Like, why are you not doing this infusion to people? Like, why are you not helping these people instead of just diagnosing them and sending them home? And we as black people, I just felt like, are they holding it from us? For us not to know, because I was listening to the people who was in there, but even the, some of the white people didn't know about it. And as people was finding out, as the people was in there with me, they were sharing, they went to calling their friends and trying to tell them about it so they could get their doctor, because they was elderly people and they were sick and they was in the stage in that period, take that grace period time of between the seven yeah. and 10 days. And I watched and I listened as I was sleeping, going through the treatment. And the lady was calling her family members or friends and telling them about the treatment as they was going through the treatment in the treatment room. Yeah. And so this is why, um, this is why I'm telling y'all, I'm sharing share this with you guys. Yeah. So that just in case you don't know, you can contact your primary care physician um, you can contact your primary care physician. You can contact uh, uh, your doctor, or look for those services. I am gonna put the link in the in the in the uh, by in the thing down there, and uh, so that you guys can get it. And if you're watching this now on Facebook Live, it is we are this is live. But if you're watching this um, on YouTube, this is definitely gonna be a replay because I am gonna download this video and I'm gonna put it on uh, youtube and i will be putting it in the description i'm not saying that this is what this is going to cure you because this is not a cure <coughs> but this is definitely a treatment that really helped us it helped me it helped us because i'm tomorrow will be one week and today been my best day that i felt good i'm still weak i'm still coughing yeah and i'm still i don't know if i'm taking too many cough medicine and stuff I feel nervous inside. The other the other two days ago I had I felt like a headache. It's, it's they're not really headache, it's just a I can't I never had the flu. I have had a bad cold, but it it that's what it feels like when you're going through this. You lose your appetite, you lose your smell, you lose your taste. Yeah. In between it is I still don't have my taste. It goes in, there's some things I can taste, there's some things I can't. But today I did smell my... Perfume. I smelled the, slightly, it was very faint smell, mm -hmm. but I was I smelled it a little bit, my white diamond. Oh. I smelled it just a, it's not, I'm not all the way, I'm, and I'm not going to lie to y'all, I am still scared right now. Yes, as you should even be. Even as going through the, with the infusion that been in my body. But I will tell y'all that infusion did something because I started noticing I was able to keep my food down. I was able to take in um, nu nutrients, nutrients because yeah. this what this one was so scared about that I wasn't able to hold nothing down and I was coughing. But the greatest thing been through my battle with the COVID has been the coughing and the and the and nervousness because I when I hear my baby over there coughing, I jump up. I look. I be over there looking at this one, and if Boo not moving fast enough for me, I'll call Boo out when I should have been letting Boo sleep. Cause Boo didn't get very much sleep, cause Boo was up. I'm telling y'all, every few minutes. Yeah. Taking care of me, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart, baby. And You're I love for me. I just posted the link down there in the uh, comment section. <laughs> I'll be posting this on, on uh, YouTube. But people, please listen. And if you don't care about yourself, care about your other one, loved ones around. Because we're finding out that some family members came in with it and they gave it to the next one. And the next one got it. Because that's how it happened with us. We was all together because my children don't get to spend much time yeah. together and with I, each and, other. And listen, and, I didn't get this from work. I didn't yeah, get this. Was, I feel more safe. I've got to say this, mama. I just do. Yeah. I feel more safe when I'm working on set and on, on projects, on TV projects and stuff that I've been working on because they require us to be, they, 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 they we get tested every other day. Yeah. We get, uh, we have to, we have to follow the protocol. We social, we, we stay distant. When I was working in New York City, <coughs> 
I had my hotel room. We we stayed apart. Like they quarantine you. Um, they keep the sets clean down. They go through with yeah, that like with that clip. Was when we was filming. We filming my TV show. It was yeah. that. So I feel more. I feel more comfortable on set. Then I'm not. I'm not doing no gathering. All that you gathering really stuff. Need to be letting people get I'm, too and close I'm not to doing. I'm not. This ain't. I'm not going through this you don't no need more. To be letting people get. Mm -hmm. I know you got to do your job and stuff, but people got to understand. Because I remember one of those ladies that that Ooh. I uh, Lunea. Lunea, and mm -hmm. I heard her say she caught it. Yeah. And she had been working and working and working, and somebody came up and yeah, all the, it's touched, a it's a whole it's a, a whole new day. Well, anyway, I was already like that anyway. I like I'm not y'all don't see me at events and y'all don't see that type of stuff from me. I'm real. Mm -mm. Well, the way we got we wasn't no event. No, we was, it was right just we are just at home. At North, home Norris came, came to spend visit, time with family. But you he know? works out in the public place. Yeah, and, and if you still, know you got it and you don't feel good, stay home. home. Yeah. Stay home. Because these symptoms, we didn't, it, it didn't, it, when we felt the sickness, but it didn't hit right then. It was way later. Yes, yeah, stay home. Because everybody's body is not the same. No, it's and not. You, and and people are not going to be able to fight it. It's and just, don't, don't put people down because they're not ready to get it right now. And don't, don't knock people who did get it. Yeah. But if if I I think I am going to get it, I'm still, I'm not going to lie to y'all, I'm still scared. I'm still in question, of, am I going to get, do I want to get that vaccination? Right. Because we done lost friends who did get it after they got the vaccination, they died. Well, we done heard of family, the, the people who we done been around, friends we done met, yeah, shared but we the have, story. But but, but I'm not going to stop. Get your vaccination if you can get if you it. Want, get it. If you want it, that's your decision. That's your choice. That is your decision. Because it's still my choice. That is your decision. That is your. That it should it's be your, your decision. Body. But you not vaccinated. Nor is not vaccinated. I am. All and three of us still got it. Not gonna get it. They. They. He's still saying he's not gonna yeah. get it. So, all right, y'all. I'm gone. And thank you all, Maddie Mark. I know y'all love my baby, but y'all have showed me so many times. You love, um, what's her name? Um, oh, what her name? Who used to do the shows with, um, Sophia? Sophia, Carp, all of them, man. Her Sophia, name, Dineva, Dineva. Oh, um, um, her name is, um, uh, she, she been doing these, a lot of these little tit tots. She used to do the shows with T T Chi Chi, Savon. Yes, huh? Oh, so many of y'all. Kayla, Janice, Janice Smith, the mob, like the mob, the mob, because the mob is in the in the Patreon. I've been talking to the to my folks in the have Patreon. So much love to me. Yeah, I love y'all like y'all my own children. And some of y'all been sharing y'all stories. Y'all write me. Y'all share y'all personal things with me, and I pray for y'all. I might not remember everything. That y'all y'all want me to pray for, but I always lift y'all up. Remember, I don't just tell people I pray for them. Cause a lot of people tell you they pray for you and they don't do it. I pray and when I forget, I say, Lord, even when I was feeling sick, I wasn't able to write my post. And I say, Lord, please forgive me, Lord, because these posts may bless people, but right now I'm too weak. But I thank God for y'all response. And y'all love and your concerns and your cares. Because many of you wrote and said many things. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I am getting better. One day at a time. That's it. And I'm trusting God that I will get through this. Because he done brought me this far to, to not leave. And I must still have something to do. Because I'm still here. All right, y'all. I'll talk with y'all later on. Let me call up in here and figure out like what, what's going on with our test results. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye. Have a blessed Have day. Have a blessed day.